Hi, I'm Ed Cross. I represent restoration professionals and environmental consultants nationwide. Getting paid these days is tougher than ever before. Unfortunately, there's a misperception among some in the restoration industry that the principal balance owed on an invoice is all that can really be recovered, and that filing suit just depletes the bottom line. In actuality, there are a number of legal tools that can allow recovery of more than the principal balance. Sadly, some customers look at contracts merely as the starting point for negotiations. Maximizing your recovery starts with a good contract that allows not only for the recovery of interest and legal expenses, but also administrative service charges. Penalties are unenforceable, but in many cases, Courts allow the recovery of service charges in addition to interest, where the contract clearly places the customer on notice of these charges and where they represent some form of actual damage as opposed to a penalty. Service charges are different from interest. They are intended to compensate the restorer for the time, energy, and disruption of accounting for, monitoring, and managing past due accounts. We recommend the assessment of service charges on a monthly basis as opposed to a one-time charge. A typical service charge is 1.5% per month. Next is the subject of interest or finance charges. We advise our clients to be aggressive in determining the rate of interest, often between 12 and 25%. Contrary to popular belief, the interest charged on a past due invoice for restoration services is not subject to usury laws because those laws apply only to loans. Some restorers seek to execute promissory notes with customers who have past due balances. This makes it start to look like a loan and is usually a bad idea unless there was no written contract or the contract has a material defect. A solid restoration contract is better than a promissory note for a number of reasons. It's good practice to wait at least 30 days before charging interest or service charges, especially with important customers. With interest, service charges, and attorney's fees mounting, the value of a claim rises rapidly, which helps to encourage early settlement and reduces legal expenses. Using these tools, we have been able to recover more than the principal balance due for a number of our restoration clients. The provisions for interest service charges and legal expenses must be in compliance with the statutes of your jurisdiction. They should be reasonably conspicuous and not buried in the back in small gray type. Future issues of our newsletter will describe the outcomes of specific collection cases in which we have successfully recovered more than the principal balance due and the special circumstances that led to those results. In the meantime, Remind your customers that your contract is a binding legal document, not just a starting point for negotiations. And remember that restorers can and do recover more than the principal balance due for their hard work. Feel free to contact us if you'd like your contracts reviewed or invoices collected. Thank you.